Because we all learn hazing in boot camp, right? Yeah. We learn hazing as soon as we come in as enlisted and officers. These are standard one each. These are ethical boundaries um, that we should never cross uh, because you can bring down a whole team, the whole morale. Uh, it's just a horrible, horrible event. And it's something that we don't, we don't need to witness, we don't need to do, we don't need to execute because we're far better than that. But we do need to have the instruction in place so that we have guidelines for leadership and guidelines for sailors to learn and educate and talk like we're talking today about what hazing is and what hazing is not. So crossing the line ceremony is not hazing. When they're done with the traditional intent and they're done with the, you know, the good humor and the good um, camaraderie and esprit de corps development, uh, then they're meaningful. And yes, they will involve some unusual events um, that sometimes may appear humiliating or um, disapproving or uh, not so enchanting when you're on the other side. But they're meant to have a lesson at the end. They're meant to have a meaning at the end. They're meant for you to continue to learn how to go through adversity, um, to become strong as, an, as a part of a team and so forth. So the crossing of the line ceremony is a fantastic ceremony and it remains fantastic today. And just because we don't execute in the same manner that we did in 1970, doesn't mean it doesn't have the same meaning. So these traditions and events, it's not about how they're executed that is the intent of the esprit de corps and the meaning behind it. It is that they are executed. It's important that they are executed and that they do continue on and that they do have some meaning behind them. But it's just as important that they don't turn ugly. And so intervene you know, use your bystander intervention skills, use your bravery, your honor, courage, and commitment, regardless of the rank that you have to approach to say, hey, I don't think this is right. It's finding that right moment and that right word to say, you know, in that environment to that person or to that group. This is not right. Let's take a break. Let's come back. Let's reassess. However you need to do it, but you need to say something. And then if it turns out that, okay, what was going on was evolutionarily correct, it was command endorsed, I was looking at it from this view, not this view, then you're educated. But I'd rather you be educated and learn from asking the question um, and using the hair on the back of the neck than avoiding it and not saying anything and people getting hurt. Don't wait for things to happen to you. Make them happen for you.